you actually have 7 million eggs when you're a fetus in your mother's womb, then you go down to about 1,000 eggs by the time you get to menopause. Wow. I look at variation in genes to better understand reproductive ageing in women. One of the main factors for female infertility is the number of eggs that a woman has, and that's very closely related to the timing of menopause. Women become naturally infertile approximately 10 years before they go through the menopause related to that ovarian reserve, so the number of eggs that they have in their ovary. One of the really key things we need to do is to understand that process of loss of eggs throughout life. Genomics is really important because all the processes that happen in our bodies are generally governed by our genes. Is there like a gene that could cause you to have early menopause and a gene that could mean that you have it later in your life? We actually think that the majority of genes are involved in both ends of that spectrum. So it's the same genes. You have version A or version B. So if you have version A, you'll have early menopause. If you have version B, you'll have later menopause. And so if we can understand how variation in our genomes impacts timing of menopause, that can really give us a guidance on what the key processes are that, that are involved in that. So how could that help with improving fertility treatment in the future? By understanding these basic fundamental processes, we know that certainly for other diseases and conditions, it's been a really good indicator of the success of drug applicability. For instance, polycystic ovary syndrome affects maybe 10% of the female population, and the drug targets are not great for that, actually. So if we can understand the basic biology of underpinning that condition, we may be able to target that process better and provide women with better options, really. For, for treatment.